Nashville, the space shuttle Discovery has flown its last mission. It has been towed over the nation's capital like a bruised Chevy after a demolition derby before being deposited at the Udvar Hazy Air and Space Museum in Northern Virginia. Other space junkers, Atlantis and Endeavor, they're being retired like Brett Favre and a pair of Crocs, bringing an end to an underwhelming three decades of fruitless and tragic exploration of low Earth orbiting patterns. Now let's face it, once we beat the Russians to the moon, the national rocket grew limper than Liberace at a speculum convention. NASA has been dining out on a single 1969 hit longer than Zegger and Evans. The good news is that amateur hour is now over and the private space race has begun. Where two Cold War superpowers failed, let a thousand business plans bloom. The future of space is in the hands of guys behind Amazon, PayPal, and Virgin. The force of competition will create endless possibilities and unimaginable technologies. No more talking about how the space program brought us Tang and Tempur-Pedic mattresses. We're going to Mars, baby. Business class. Virgin's Richard Branson has already signed up more stars than there are in heaven, and his regular press releases read like TMZ. Ashton Kutcher, Katy Perry, and Angelina Jolie have all reserved space on the first civilian flights to the great beyond. The International Space Station will continue as a government-run intergalactic DMV, but at least the spaceships schlepping materials and mouth breathers to and from will soon be operated by private vendors at an expected 90% discount. That should put plenty more celebrities and civilians in the mood to join the 30 Mile High Club. Grr. The founder of Budget Suites, Robert Bigelow, has already launched experimental modules. He's dreaming of putting affordable hotels, complete with bedspreads soaked in alien DNA. They're going in orbit, and PayPal's Elon Musk has said he wants to die on Mars preferably in a colony established by SpaceX, his company that's hell-bent not just on leaving Earth, but getting you to the red planet in style. Now, nobody knows exactly how private space exploration and entrepreneurship will play out, but it's a lock. The next 30 years won't resemble our government-run space program's decades-long failure to launch anything more inspiring than Josie and the Pussycats in outer space. Space out. <laughs>